Welcome to the Christian Hoyle podcast. This week we have the Mindful Wizard and Tom Mappin. It's going to explode your mind. We do the podcast for the Mindfulness and Positivity group. Today we look at art and how art can have an effect of mindfulness and positivity. Personally, Mindful Wizard, Tom Mapping blew my mind with what they saw in the artwork and you will see the artwork and this artwork is particularly amazing. It is by Priyanka Prasadi and she is one talented person. Here it is for you right now. If you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button in the bottom right or left hand side of the screen. Get ready to have your mind opened. Hi everybody. We are live. It's Tuesday, July the 6th here in the UK in the beautiful Lake District. Uh, should show you some pictures. I am going to be, this is a slightly different podcast and I'm bringing him straight in now so he can understand because he doesn't know yet. The Mindful Wizard! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good <laughs> morning. You don't know what we're doing, but we're probably going to do it again. This is Uh-oh. exciting, mate. You're going to like this. I know you I hope are. so. I hope so. Good morning, sir. How are you? Good morning. Can I just say this for anyone watching? The, the Mindful Wizards got up at 5 a.m. No, you probably got up before. This is 5 a.m. where you are, is it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, it is. You are dedicated to the cause, and that's why I wanted you back for your second appearance. I'm honored. I, I wouldn't miss it for the world, brother. Uh, <laughs> every Last time we did the podcast, you like I can imagine this happens a lot in your life. You give people a buzz. I get a buzz off you. You get say that a lot, again? don't you? I get a buzz off you. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. I'm honoured. I hope so. Is is my audio all right? Are we good on the audio? Or is it your it's, end? It's a little low on my end, but I can get headphones. Okay. Do you want to grab some headphones? It, does it normally like? I'm just thinking, am I low? Is anyone listening who, who if, I, if I sound low? Because I've once got my volume wrong before. Go on, get Maybe your headphones and I'll, and I'll tell you what it is. Headphones. Wicked. Nice one. I'll talk a little bit more about you. So we've had the Mindful Wizard on. You, um, I follow him on social media now, and I uh, absolutely love him. I just find he made me – I'll tell you what he made me do. He made me question, and I have questioned this for a while, and I go back to what happened at primary school, and they said, Christian needs to listen more. <laughs> then you are an awesome li- – I'm just on about how you're an awesome listener. I'm, no, I'm excited. That's, uh, I'm just blessed to be here. It's a good time. Yay! Let me tell you about our feet. So, you agreed to come on no matter what we're doing, which I absolutely love. You, yes, you agreed. You agreed it anyway. I'm ready. So I'm, 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 I'm excited and prepared for whatever the universe brings my way. Well, let me tell you about a universal gateway happened this morning. So, let me tell you how. So last week I said, will you come on the show? Because I absolutely love you. You're awesome. And you spread positivity and light no matter where you go. Hail the mindful wizard. And you, I said, I want to do a new feature. And you said, yeah, I'm up for that. Well, and you gave an idea and I thought, yeah, sounds great. And then life took over and kids and other stuff. And I did nothing, (laughs) absolutely nothing. And this morning I woke up knowing that even with nothing, you and I were going to do a good show and it was going to be worthwhile listening to. So I went on our group this morning, and uh, there's, a, we've, uh, there's a lot of questions that get ad- added to the group this morning, and for future sessions, you and I are going to answer questions to the group. I love that. I love that. Simple and effective. Right, you're going to love this even more now, because this isn't, that's just the start of what we've got. So what we've got today is, so I've had... So I'm going to read out a couple of questions and you're going to give you the amazing answers and people are going to be blessed by your response, as am I, and hopefully myself. But I've also got us a little feature. We're bringing someone else on the show. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> but it's some, uh, I'm not, one of the questions that we're going to cover, and I'll read this out first before I get to my first one. Sorry about... Where is it? There she is. So this is the part we're going to cover in about 20 minutes because we're going to deal with a superstar kid that both you and I are going to send some blessings and some help to. Mm. This is exciting. You don't know it. And once we know (laughs) it. It's a good day. I love love the surprises already. God, I feel really good about it. You know, like, (laughs) just feel like, I feel like today, and 
And like, I love what I loved us being together. And I think you and I can spread some light. And I think we're blessed by that. Yes, so I had a lady called uh, Priyanka Prasada. And her question was, which we're going to come to in 20 minutes, we're going to bring someone in. She said, hey, hey, Christian, I have a question. I am an artist and I read that art is a natural way to practice mindfulness. But that's for the creator of art. What role would such an artwork play for those who possess it? Can you and your group give some insights on how artwork and the kind of vibes it gives out affects mindfulness and meditation practice? So she sent me some art that you and I are going to look at. I'm going to message you when we get to the feature. But we're also, I did a podcast around about, I think about four or five weeks ago with a guy called Tom Mappin. He does art. He's in the group, so he's coming on. So he's he's got up like you for the podcast, which is superb, and I absolutely love it. So twenty minutes, Tom, we're going to bring you on, and then we're gonna, and all I can say is the first piece of art she sent me. Well, you're going to see it soon, but it blew my mind. What do you are you do you do you do art? So no, but but I am an artist in my own sense, or right? I like to write. I like to be inspired by movement. So I, I yes and no. But I don't actually create, let's say, paintings or drawings. But I do try to create an artistic world with my words and and the way I see things. So yes, hundred <laughs> percent. And you do really. Well. I love. I'm loving your socials. It's really inspiring me. I my I, I'm a coach, but I get coached, and he's told me to create more content. So I'm looking at yours. And I'm loving it. I love the little things you do, the differences stuff. You told some tale the other day about getting in a fracas, but it was all about selling your podcast. I watched the whole thing, and at the end, you just went, tune into my podcast. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, I used to do that a lot with writing, keep people on their toes, and then at the end, I would plug in the podcast or the social media accounts. That way you get people, you know, you got you to keep them interested, especially in this country. Everybody wants it now. So I do what I can to feed that, I guess, that sense of of hunger. I love it. What's your podcast called again? So we, we're called The Search for Consciousness. What a good title. Thank you, brother. And, uh, you know, we talk about everything, spirituality, ego, you name it. I had a conspiracy theorist on. He's actually out in the UK. I think I think you may know him. His name is Marcus Allen. Marcus Allen. There's a lot of conspiracies are big at the minute and are ruling a lot of people's lives. Earth generated water. Invisible. He's, on, the, he's, what... the, he's the editor of this magazine, Marcus Allen. He's famous out there in, in the UK. So maybe maybe you know of him. I was interviewing him last uh yesterday, actually. I'm a hundred percent gonna check that out. Yeah, he's 100%. cool dude. Not, so as, cool as, Not as cool as you. Not as cool as you. Ah, you are too kind. Oh, I'm a blushing, I'm blushing. <laughs> right, this is cool, right? This is so, you're going to like this. I just know you're going to like it because I just know. I don't know you that well, but I just got a vibe that you're going to like this. So so there was a there was a recently a, a young girl uh, who put a message in the group, and this really inspired me in quite a few other ways, but it didn't... Do you do, do some things inspire you, but they don't happen there and then? You think they get stored in your mind and that the, they've been resting there to come out? Do you know, like a Manchurian candidate? I don't Sound know if like that, that. Do, 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 I don't know. Does that ever happen with you? So, so just so that I understand you, you're asking me, do I get inspired by things that just kind of stay in the back of my mind? Yeah, and later on, like, say it got planted last week and you didn't realize it was an inspirational note and it come back later. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So so if I had to put a name on that, right, I I would call that excellent question, by the way. I would call that like the universal wink. And it's, it's a funny concept, but the way I see it is every time you're on your path, you get a push or a hunch or a universal wink. And it's just saying that oh you're you, you know you're on the right path and that you're unlocking the the next steps. So I call that the winks. An example of that is when you see like a one one one, or you know you get your change back from the grocery store and it's five five five. Those are angel numbers, and they signify 
great changes in your life. So when I see little things like that, I know that I am on the right path. So I'll give you another example. If I'm tired and I feel uninspired and then a young, handsome brother like you reaches out with an opportunity, that's just the universe pushing me. Right. And and, and it's just <laughs> continuous growth. And, and that's the way I see those little inspirational moments throughout the day. I like your, the wing, I call them universal gateways. Yours is a wing, but they're exactly the same. And I, and I, it made me think, right? So we're going to talk about a girl called Summer Louise. And I'm going to read out what she says. And maybe, maybe, right? Maybe. This is me casting maybe a bigger thing, right? Right. So I seen this, I read it, interpret it, and then we're going to talk about her. We're maybe a, a wink for her to change the rest of her life. My brother, your audio cut off. Can I jump out and jump back in? Would that yeah. be helpful? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, did my audio cut off? Can anyone... Um... I wonder if my audio is a problem. I flicked off the screen then. Is anyone watching live? Is the audio okay watching live? I know Tom's watching. Our main man, Tom, who's coming in in 15 minutes. Maybe maybe it's just me. I'll jump. Can I jump out and jump yeah, back yeah, in to see if that helps? Yeah, of course, of course. Go for it. I'll be right back. I'll continue the universal wink thing as you're going in and out and coming in and out. So he called, um, the Mindful Wizard calls it the universal link, uh, universal wink. I refer to it as a universal gateway that we get up with these opportunities, but they don't come as blatant opportunities. They come disguised as something else. And at first sight, I don't think you see them as that. And I think some of us are more receptive of understanding this is an opportunity. And some see it as something different. Some might see it as a fear. Oh no, this is, this is like almost like it's too coincidental. Like someone, you know, say someone asks you something, you think, Oh, that's a bit where they might be stalking me to know something about me. Whereas in actual fact, it's the universe playing the energies together and they're colliding and creating a path. And it like happens to me in uh, all the time. I had a podcast yesterday. It's back now. It's playing on. Are we better? Ah, oh, you sound incredible, bro. I, so... I was just saying about, I was just following. So I had a podcast yesterday with someone called Marcy Locke. My, I don't know idea how I got her. And for for, for, for ages, we've uh, I've been trying to get her, but the universe put us together. And she said to me yesterday, because she's, she's quite a big hitter, is, is Marcy. She went, I've turned down a lot of people, and for some reason you got through, and I thought, that's uh, the universe. Yes, right, sir. let's read you what Summer says. So she's got two things. She starts off with this. Uh, random question, and I'm hoping someone will respond. Has anyone experienced... All right, no, no. Uh, I want to sorry. I want to see when she joins the group. Uh, Mr. J she writes something. She joins the group. I've had, I've wrote the same thing twice. Oh, anyone else giving advice? Ah, oh, right. So when she joined the group, basically she joined it, said, Hi, I'm Summer. I've joined this group. I normally feel a bit, un this is how I remember it all. I normally feel uncomfortable about introducing myself, but in this group, I feel it's the right group for me. And let me just say that totally true. This is the best, I don't, one of the best groups in the world because people genuinely want to help you. Uh, and she said, I'm, I'm on here because I feel like I'm struggling a bit with my own personal confidence and I'm in here to be inspired to basically try and be more positive and happy. Mm. I, I loved it. But then she put this question. This, I'm, you're gonna, so this is the question I want you to a answer and then we'll, we'll start the flow of where, where I think you want it to go. So this one's to you, Mindful Wizard. Random question, and I'm hoping someone will, re will respond. Has anyone experienced anything like an identity crisis or lost all confidence that would be that would be happy to talk to me about something? I'm going through and maybe explain what they did to make themselves feel better. Or anyone that is really open to giving some advice on how to find your place in the world or to love the way you look. Oh, mm. that's a beautiful one. I love that. Mm. So... When I would jump in, right, when you were asking the question, mainly about confidence, I would say that this beginning, this choice of becoming a different person is difficult because at first you lose identity with who you think you were. And, you know, for me, what that started with is the identification with what you wear and what groups you attach yourself to. And as you become more driven by self-awareness, those things mean less and less and you have mm -hmm. to start to discover other parts of you. So for example, when we talked earlier and I told you I lost my eye, right? My, I was blinded and I don't know if I mentioned this to you, but you I did, was blinded. You, you touched on it. Yeah, you did. So at that moment, 
the reason I bring that up constantly is because I was very, oh, I'm attractive and I'm pristine and I'm cool. And, and it had to shift the understanding of who Stephen Rivera was. And I reinvented myself, right? I wasn't just a person with an ugly eye. I was a person with a different past. And that started to generate more confidence in myself. So I would say, simply put acceptance, right? Start recognizing who you really are, not who you tell yourself you are. Be around people that genuinely care about the real you, not the avatar that you put out. I would say start to truly question the things you tell yourself and what makes you valuable. And then another good thing I've read is start to consider the metrics which you use to hold yourself accountable. So I'll give you a perfect example. You and I are on similar paths, right? We want to be well known and we want to help, but sometimes we don't know the extent of our help, Chris. So you don't know how totally. far this show, yeah, you don't yeah. know how far the yeah, show yeah. is going. You know what I mean? And sometimes yeah. we say we're not doing a good enough job, but truly we may be helping thousands of people. We just don't know it. So that metric has to change and it has to come from something of value that you love, not something that people could take away from you. And lastly, with the with the term of <clears throat> in terms of confidence and motivation. Another great thing that I've read is sometimes you just have to do and then the motivation will come. Don't assume that the motivation will randomly come. Sometimes you have to just act. So if you wanna write a book, write a sentence, write a paragraph. Mm. Don't, don't wait for inspiration to write the entire book yeah. and just do that a little bit every day and it'll get easier. Got excellent. So some reason, right, Summer, I don't know why she's only wrote some stuff. I actually, I responded to this post and I started talking what, what like, firstly, this isn't a problem. This is an amazing journey. You're just about to begin because she's only 16 when I, she's, she's 16 years old. And when I was 16, I knew nothing about measuring and, and measuring yourself and how to go about creating happy existence. I was so obsessed by the self. Everything yes, was my ego. Everything was about you know, me. I didn't do anything to make myself feel good. Apart from sport, I've always done sport, but I didn't realize that's why I was doing it. So it made me think you and I are going to keep, this is going to be a regular feature of ours. And then we're going to get the group to come with questions. We're going to try and help them. And I want like, what was well, some, I tried to get Summer on. I said, will you come on? This will be great. Wouldn't it have been great? A, a young lovely girl who's wanting to start a growth in her life to produce a life of happiness and whatever she wants because this is out this is what happened this is what can happen for her can't it yes sir, 100% and, and and if i may I'll, I'll add on to it right she's at such a ripe age to start questioning reality and adding levels of her understanding and another good thing i would say to her I'll mention the seven spiritual laws of success by Deepak Chopra. One of the things that he talks about is the law of Dharma, which in a simple, simplified term means the law of purpose. And if we go even deeper, the word purpose comes from the Greek word scopus. So your scope is your purpose. What you focus on is what you do. My focus is mindful wizard helping others. Your focus is this podcast, the awesome page you guys run and giving back to the community. So that young lady, if she continues to answer and ask these questions, mm. she will find her purpose. And with your purpose, you're unbeatable. You cannot lose. So I'm glad she's asking. Well, what what happens if, her, like, she hasn't come on today, but I quick, like, so I replied to this post the other day because, it, you know, sometimes you read someone's post and you just want to you want to give them some wisdom if you can. I hope that I can give that. She just sparks something. Some people spark something in you that you think, I want to, I want to help this person. It happens to me a lot in life. So I'm going to make a suggestion. So I made a suggestion for her to follow me on Facebook. And then I've started, I've got my own mindset program I've created that I coach to. And it's mine. And it's what's helped me to be able to live my life no matter what happens and be peaceful and happy. And that's where I'm at. You know, I've got that, that's where I've attained to be. And it's it's a daily practice. It's not something you can just you've got it. You take a tablet and it'll last forever. Let me tell you that it's something that you have to do constantly. But it's constant reward after reward after reward. Someone's just put something on the group saying today's conspiracy theory is tomorrow's reality or can be. Wow. 
Ooh, <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. That's but going funny. back to summer, I'm going to suggest summer. So my first, I asked her to look, my first, I call them um, pillars of the mindset program. My first pillar is asking you to just to start. It's really basic. Analyze your day and your week. Just have a look at your day and week and find and find what, what are you doing in your day and your week to support your growth of positivity? What are you doing that are doing things to inspire you and change the way you think? Like growth, i.e. reading, reading, practicing different things. When are you doing it? Because if you've got your week and you're not doing anything, how are you going to grow? It's such a simple thing. And the first one I want Summer to do, because she's going to listen to this, I want you to map out your week. And in your week, I want you to say Monday to Friday, in your week, put all the experiences that you have. And while you put these experiences, what kind of experiences are they? Are they happy things that make you grow? Are they things that are supporting your growth? Or are they things that actually, when you write them down, you don't like it? When you go there, it actually is a negative experience. And it's as simple as iron out your week. And then in that week, I want you to start placing a couple of things that I want you to add is one, I'm going to send you a book or, or uh, something to read to get into that start in the mind exploring different concepts. And every week you must put in your week a time that you're working on you to change the concepts of how you think and start to think. I'll listen to someone else's words of advice, hopefully ours in this podcast. <laughs> and then I want you to map out that week and start thinking in in all right next week i always do it the week before so i planned everything out for this week last week so if you're looking at next week what kind of week you're having because if you're going into a day and not creating positive experiences you're probably not gonna have a positive day and it's a simple exactly. it's simple little techniques to do it right that's my piece of advice because we're going to get her on what's your advice give one thing you wanted to do in between now and when we see her she said she'll come on so you and I are going to do a podcast. How cool is this? It's killing it. Yes, I love it. It's it's almost like a, it's before I answer that, I must say something interesting to you. And I think you'll like this, right? So long story short, I've always been thinking about my podcast becoming almost like a talk show for mindfulness. Mm. And in real time, that's what's happening. So I just think you should know that it's actually really cool to a kind of like a universal wink just to witness it happening <laughs> but um what i would say is i think your advice was spot on we can't heal unless we devote time to actually healing and starting that process but another good simple technique she can utilize is gratitude so an yeah. example of that is anytime you see I don't know. Let's go back to those master numbers. Five, 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 one, one, one. Stop for a second and just say, you know, I'm grateful for this. And as you start to add at least five grateful things a day, you will start to see a more positive, cheery disposition. You'll be way more positive simply just by saying, I'm grateful for this opportunity. I'm grateful for my awesome shirt. I'm grateful for Christian and this awesome show, right? Three simple things that we can identify. Five, she's going to write five things down a day. Every, so should we say that every morning, after reading this, till you see us, will she write five things she's grateful for? If in the day. It can be any point, but she has to write five things every day. Can we say that? I would that? love that. Yes, sir. So an add on to my point, because we're going to switch over to, uh, to, we're going to bring Tom in and we're going to look at the art thing, is my other thing as well, like in my first pillar, I like, and I don't know whether Summer does, I don't even know whether Summer's, summer's from, actually, what, what country she's from, but I really cannot tell you enough that you must go outside and experience nature. No matter where you are, there's trees and there's birds and there's grass and there's an area. Pretty much, all right, probably not everywhere in the whole world, but pretty predominantly you can. So summer, when you go out to these places, you'll find a lot of things to be grateful for. So as well in your week, two times where you can go out for a walk in nature. I want you to include it. I do it every day, seven days a week, every morning. And it makes me, I've been out this morning, met three new people. We chatted, we did great things, but you know, it was great. So include that. So that's for you summer. And I'll contact you after the show. And I know you're going to listen to the podcast and then we're going to meet her. Sounds good. No, I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. We're going to bring Tom in now. So he, Tom doesn't know anything about this. So I am chucking people in quite a lot, but we're going to bring him in. Uh, Tom. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? So Tom, the mindful wizard, the mindful wizard, Tom. Good to meet you. Ple yes, sir. Pleasure. Pleasure. How are you? Fine. Fine. Good. 
so I'll go back to the question that we got. I was hoping that she'd come on. Let me just quickly check my message to see if she's not, she's not come. I was seeing if she was going to come on. Uh, the lovely lady who I hope I'm pronouncing your name right is Priyanka. So Priyanka asked this oh, question okay. earlier. So I'll read it out again. In fact, let me just send you the first piece of art, boys, as well. So, yeah, Priyanka, thanks for this. But you, I'm going to edit this video for when it comes as a podcast. We do it live, and I always re-edit it to do an intro and whatnot. I'll include this artwork on it. So as we're going to be talking about it, people are going to see this artwork. This is getting like, whoa, here we go. So I'll send you to now the artwork in question. One sec, so which this blew my this blew my mind when she I saw this this morning. So she's called Priyanka. Wow, this is like so. While I'm just I'll forward this now. So how do I forward that? Tom, while I'm going through this, tell us what artwork. Well, tell us what art means for you in in relation to mindfulness and positivity. Oh, when I am. Uh... When I'm creating, when, I'm, when I have the paintbrush in my hand or a pencil in my hand, I'm in a zone. Well, there's no other way to explain it. Uh, it's, it's a way for me to let the energy inside of me come out. And uh, I, I've, had several, I've had several people ask me, I, I wish I could draw like that. I wish I could paint like that. I, I don't know how I do it. It just, it just comes through me, and it's yeah. I've been drawing since I was a, a kid, but I'm surprised by myself a lot of times when I get finished with the piece. Uh, it's it's just amazing to me, and and the the feeling that I get while I'm doing that is complete freedom, uh, total playtime, right? It's just I'm I'm filled with joy. And um, it's been a saving grace for me going through what I've been going through in the past year. Uh, your last piece is why I got your last piece. I loved. Now I'm all. We're gonna get that. If you, I know you shared it in the group. So, but let's let's. I want to get to your piece. It's a blue a piece of art that you did, which I absolutely love. Okay. Right, first one. Have you have you got the one I sent you? Uh, Mindful Wizard. Did you get it? Yes, sir. Yes, I did. Tell, like, tell me about what 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 you're getting from it. So. Instantly, I noticed the snake-like looking thing at the bottom, right? We're looking at the same painting ah. with, the with the black and the little mountain. Are we talking about the same piece? Yeah, 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 totally. So the first thing I noticed was the, the snake. And I thought, okay, something is coming out of that. There's a, a birthing of knowledge there. If we ah. look... To the left and the right, we see the red wings, which I think indicate growth. But I want to also focus on those three stages above the, the mountain. And you can see to the left, it looks like trees or some type of grass. Then to the right, you see spiral. Excuse me, in the middle, you see spirals. And then at the end, you see, I guess, something that looks like a flame. So it all depends, but what I see there is just stages of development. I see the snake as our struggle, and then on the top, what can become, right? So I just see like metamorphosis. I see interbeing. I see, I see a lot. I see a lot. <laughs> oh my god! What? Right? I want to ask Tom because I didn't see any of that. You are, you no, are, you no. are an eye. You are. Go is on, it, Tom. What about you? Is this Priyanka's piece? Yes. Yeah. I, I I don't see it. I I'm not seeing it. So I'm not oh, sure. Have I sent it? I've just sent it your messenger. On messenger. Oh, you won't see. Yeah, you won't see it on this screen. Okay. So what, have a look on messenger, and I'll say. Okay, let me look. Let me look. Oh. First yeah. thing, obviously, art. I'm not. I, I've. I mean, I appreciate things. I'm not artistic. I've noticed that I can appreciate good things when they're done. Because that's what. When I saw this this morning at the table, I was like, "Wow, this is like." Like I didn't get the the what I didn't get the message what you got. I just looked at it. Like now you say it, all I can see is the snake creating that thing, and you created into a story. You are a pretty impressive guy, you know. That's like that, yeah. I'm impressed. I'll, let me just say that I'm I'm impressed what you do. I'm interested if if um, Priyanka it is what as you just said it. If it is a story, 
Well, listen, maybe uh, maybe we we all create meaning, right? We do, and unknowingly sometimes. And I loved what you said earlier about uh, we we don't always know the effect that we have on mm. people that we come into contact with. Um, exactly. It's just it's. Uh, I think it's important when when we recognize in ourselves that we've been helped by somebody, we see that connection. I think it's important that we close that circle. We close that loop with that person if we can to go back to them. Um, I had this happen to my, to me about 15 years ago. Um, there was a, a time in my life when I was staying sober through a 12 step program. And one of the fellows that I was helping, uh, we had a, a, a good relationship together, uh, staying sober, and then he moved away. And a few years after that, uh, he was diagnosed with esophageal cancer. Mm -hmm. And I had no idea. Uh, he was living his life. Uh, everything looked great on social media. And then he was gone one day. His social medias mm -hmm. were gone. And about two mm -hmm. weeks later, I got a phone call from him. And he told me the whole story of what was going on. And he told me why he was calling me was to thank me for oh. that connection that we made years ago that I had no idea about. I, I really had, I thought we were just great friends, but it was more than that to him. And it was, oh. it was really, really important to me that I understood that connection. You know, I, I've, I've looked back on that several times going through this recent uh, struggle that I'm dealing with. And it's given me a lot of uh, confidence, you know. I got the tingles then. Let me just say this, Tom. It's interesting that you're on saying that because since like you, you, you were going through these struggles, you're going through struggles. You're saying you're mm. in these struggles. When you came on the podcast, you know how many people like normally <laughs> I get a lot of my mates watch my stuff and all they watch it for is to criticize me, right? <laughs> they just ring me go, oh, you said this, blah, blah, blah. I think but loads of them are on about you, Tom. They found the fact that you were out there showing your vulnerability, expressing it. They absolutely loved you, like, to a point where most people have gone about you to me. They've come back to me going, I really like that Tom guy. I really liked how he said it. And I think that you actually play – what you're saying then is you won't hear it from any of them, but you helped a lot of people by showing them being honest about your vulnerability where you were, and that actually helped and inspired other people. Right, right. Pretty cool, mate. Right. What about the piece of art, though, Tom? What are you thinking? Oh, that's uh, it is uh, very meditative. I can say that it, it puts me into uh, I I actually could could think on that piece for quite some time. I like your take on it, Wizard. Uh, I think Thank it's you, I, I think it's probably pretty accurate to what Priyanka was was thinking, coming from an artistic point of view. I think that's you probably hit it spot on. I think she got her message across. I can't stop looking at it. Like <laughs> it's beautiful. You, it's nice. I think you could just stare at that for five for quite a lot of minutes and and go to quite a few different places because it's got that's like phenomenal. I think that's right. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. So I'll send you the next one. Right, here's the next one. Here we go. God, I love that. What a great job. She, wow. Do you know what? She's very talented. Wow. I can't wait to see what uh, Mr. The Mindful Wizard says about this one. Forward. Here we go. This is so, this is a cool segment, by the way, gentlemen. It's a pleasure. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be on with you, gentlemen. So, oh, what's random God. is I had no idea about this until about eight, like literally forty minutes before or fifty minutes before the show. I I just started looking. It just went as if. We you, last week you said let's do something different, and I wanted to do something different. This is different, and it's like pretty cool, you know. <laughs> go on, you, go on, go on. You're you, you just, everyone got it. What yep. you see, yep. Mr. Mindful Wizard, what you getting from this one? You want me to go first? So, so I see wow, this is nice, interesting. I like this. Wow, yeah. yeah, I like the strokes, I like uh, the big black. Anyone, anyone can start if they get some at Tom. Tom, you can jump in. Wow. Sure. Obviously, well, people will be seeing I, this. Like, you know, we, we're seeing it. I think they'll see it on the screen. I will be gone and they'll be seeing it. And in the comments section, when you're watching this, let us know what you think about it, what it means to you, because these are pretty. When I first. Either of you two. Who's going yeah, first? I, I, I saw this. I saw this a few Tom, days ago. Tom, we've lost you on audio. Uh oh. 
Uh oh, hang on. Have you pressed the it's button, Tom? That's gone mute. Um, uh, nah, he's got that look. You know when you're like, you, something's going wrong. And he... Are we back? No, he's gone. Are you uh -oh. on? Stephen, are you on? I can hear you. Can you guys hear me? I've had yeah. images. I can hear you. I've just yeah, lost you all Tom. your volume. I can hear Tom. Ah, where's the volume gone? Oh. I've not muted anyone. I don't know where it's just gone. One second. Well, ah, I'm right, hearing ah. everybody. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. You hadn't... Everyone will have heard what you said then. I just didn't get to okay. hear it. I muted you for some reason. <laughs> uh, okay. So when I first saw this piece a few days ago, I just... I was mesmerized by it. I remember sitting and looking at it for about 10 minutes, solid. And there's so much going on here. Uh, we've got the two main colors of the, the huge field, yellow and red. Uh, they're contrasting colors, right? They're basic colors. They're the primary colors, two of them. And actually, all three primary colors are used. Blue, it's not black, it's actually blue, right? It's a really dark, dark blue, those, well those, those waves going up. And this is something that uh, uh, I, basic colors, I love working in basic colors because they're, they're, the, they're the primary colors. If you only have three, you can make anything with those three, right? You have yellow, red, and blue. And from those three, you can create any colors you want. So the transformational uh, aspect of, of this is just if this is the beginning of that transformation this is what i see in this picture uh, i see the really really interesting to me that we have we have a series of of numbers and uh, uh characters up at the top in some oh yeah see him. random some random looking pattern but it doesn't really look random it looks specific right it looks <laughs> like it means something to me I don't know what, but it looks like it means something. And then we have all of these these little details, very lightly lightly drawn in, all these different aspects of our lives. Uh, over in the red field, the little spirals. Uh, those are, if if we think back to uh, that that spiral icon, has been around for thousands of years. That spiral icon. Is a portal icon. It's a Stargate icon. It's a wow. it's a it's a transport icon. Do you want to be Do you want to be transmuted? Do you want to be like like uh, Marcy was talking about yesterday? Transmutation, turning one energy source into another. Wow. That's all wow. we do here. Wow. Uh, yeah. This That's is there's, tough. and there's a lot of love in this picture too. Look at all the yeah, hearts. Yeah, I, here. Okay, I was getting at that. That's what and I feel, and, and look where they're coming from. They're coming from her. They're coming from this little figure down in that bottom swirl on the, on the left-hand side of the big field. Wow. There's growth. There's trans, transformation. Uh, a lot of love and a lot of inspiration in this one. I love it. Yeah, Stephen, go on. Go on. I'm dying to know what you're going to say. <laughs> to, to be honest, I think Tom uh, hit the nail on the head. Like That was exceptional. I'm glad that he spotted the the difference between blue and black so I'm, I'm glad so it sounds like a simple distinction but it, you know for spiritual dudes it's not and no. and, and spiritual women of course i can't exclude yeah. that half our listeners but what i'm saying what i see here is the duality of like difficulty and and changing right and transformation I want to specify what Tom said about the swirls because I've seen a lot of swirls in my life and in art, specifically cave art, spiritual art, Native American art. So I definitely see that if you want to get science, right? The Fibonacci sequence. Yeah. Which, ah. Yeah. Ah. The oh, golden yeah. ratio. Well, the well, Tom, ratio. Tom, you spotted it. I, I'm I'm only yeah. just jumping in. You spotted it. And, you know, the interesting thing is I didn't notice as he was talking, he made me, Tom made me focus on that young lady. And if you look at the young lady in the picture, it looks like she had chains around her and she's yeah. breaking, she's yeah. breaking free of the chains. So and it also looks like she's holding on to something that's up in flight, maybe a kite. So when wow. you said that, when you said She's that, talented. right? 
Yeah, because because when I first saw that, I thought red trauma pain, but then I'm like, where this doesn't make sense in my brain because I see love here. So yeah. I think it's representational of the shift from pain to love. Oh yep. my god! All this like, <laughs> like I see. Like I feel like this is a big lesson for me in life because I go out of art museums because we love that stuff when we're away. I see a lot. On the right hand side, in the red section, like I see the thing of love between connecting of families, of friendships, of parenting, in them bottom right hand corners. Yeah. Wow, I absolutely love I've never really, I'll be honest, I've never really got that, but now you two define it and describe what I should be seeing. Oh my god. She mm. Priyanka's talented. She isn't is. she? Yes. Wow, yes, let's get one more in because we've got some other questions to <clears throat> flip the group. Let's get this last. She's got sent as one. Well. Wow, this is blowing my mind. So no, that was one. cool. Let me let nice. me just thank let me just thank Tom because that was both oh. of you gentlemen. But that was cool, Tom. Thank you for You're that. You're welcome. You're welcome. Wait, wait till you see this one. Oh my God, this woman is. But we've just made her a lot of cash because I think she's going to use this because we uh, we're, we're putting the price of each piece, of these pieces out up there. <laughs> <laughs> wow look at this one. Oh my god wow let's see wow oh this is nice yeah i saw this different. one the other day too completely different to the rest but straight away you, you you're starting a story in your mind of your interpretation of what it is wow Go on, who's going yeah. first? You two are better at this, so I quite like listening to what you've got to say. <laughs> go on, Stephen. Uh, Tom yeah. started last time. Go ahead. You can go, Steve. That's that's fair. That's fair. So so this one's nice, right? I look at it, and I instantly think Zen, right? From the surroundings, it looks like ancient Japanese writing. It looks like a scroll, and they're adding some some figures that mean something. So that's definitely interesting. I see like a pyramid at the top right. I see, looks like the temple walls to the left and to the right descending downward. I like the, you know, the, the stripe patterns. And then in the middle, this huge, I don't even know what I would describe it, like a waterfall shifting. I, I just see like Tai Chi and, and very, influenced by eastern meditation and just kind of like neo being able to move his reality that's kind of what i bending so if i had to simplify i would say bending reality i just want oh, i'm quite blown over by all these but go on tom well that was an excellent description Stephen. go on tom what, what are you seeing uh i'm seeing a, a transformation from from uh on the outside of the field, we have this many different pattern, smaller fields in, in uh, different types of patterns, right? Different, different textures. Uh, and in the middle of this giant field, it's, it's pretty open, uh, kind of like our lives when we're first born. We're very, uh, very open in the, an unwritten book, right? And, uh, and I'm getting this. This this feeling of uh, like what this is kind of representative of representative of earlier stage of my life with a lot of turmoil, a lot of yeah, like a whirlpool. Uh, I actually this kind of reminds me of a piece that I I did years ago. Uh, I gave it away to a friend because he really liked it. Uh, it had a whirlpool effect in it, and this I get this same feeling from it. And this one though. Uh, in the whirlpool, if I if I look at it metaphorically, this I I can see in the whirlpool those there's blurry parts of it, but there's parts that look clear to me. Like this this one in the, the there's three that go across the top of the field and one down at the bottom of the field, and that one in the middle at the top, it almost looks like there's an eye looking back at me. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Mm. And, and so there's these parts of each one of these swirls that that I'm getting little glimpses into, but I can't really make anything out. And that's um, uh, you know, on this on this journey, there's a lot of times as I'm I am uh, 
I'm presented with alternative possibilities to my former beliefs. Mm. Ah. And, uh, sometimes I have to take another look at things that I think I know already, and I find out I'm wrong. Ah, I gotta be accepting, I gotta, accepting you wrong. That's a great thing. Yeah, to know I have to, to accept my imperfection, right? I have to accept my imperfection. I always have to remember that. I, I'm, wait a sec, Tom. Can I just stop? So I'm recording. Like, here's my. You'll see it here. So I'm recording this whole thing, right? Just for mm-hmm. another video for content. Sure. All, as you know, Stephen, coming up with content's harder than what you think. And at the beginning, of it I started. I've got three minutes till the show, and I'm saying I want to show you about vulnerability because I'm not ready. But so what? I'm not ready, and it's exactly what you just said. I say at the beginning yeah. of my video. So, yeah, yeah, universe working together. Yeah. Did you want to say what I see? Because we're gonna to have to move on because some questions. But this is an awesome feature, isn't it? This is. I never. Ch- I, I don't want the glory. It's actually Priyanka's glory, but yeah, and yeah, summer. Yeah. So this one, I'm gonna give you this for summer. So summer, I hope you've watched it all, and I want you to look at this. And this reminds me of when you're growing up and you're starting, like, at 16, I didn't have a clue about who I was or where I was going to be or where I was going. I had no vision of creating a life for me. All I did was sort of, like, live a chaotic expansion of silly things. I was up to way no good. And I look at this, and it's like a young thing. That you, If you look at it when you're young, you can, it can feel chaotic when you're young as you're beginning your journey in life. And it's all a bit chaotic. But then you look a little bit deeper in it and I see someone swooping below and I see that's a person and it's they're going round in a whirlwind of their life. And life can be a bit of a whirlwind. Mm. And when you're younger, it seems more panicky and anxiousy and you don't know your own identity. You're struggling to form who you are. And the fact that you've started looking at who you are means that this is going to be less for you. Some people like might have that at 25, but you're going to find your discovery now, like this painting, when I've learned today to look at things differently, because I've never looked at art like it, you're going to find it now, because you're looking at you now, you're looking at going forward, you're looking at finding your own happiness, saying that you're struggling now, but yeah, you're struggling now, but what happens when you do some practices? And just like this painting, you'll see a bit more in it as it goes. Woo! This is great! That's right. You hey, know, Tom. I, I, watch, I was watching the I watch our videos, you know, people t- tutorials on, and I, I remember this this art, artist said one time, every one of my paintings goes through an ugly stage. It's like the, the teenage years, you know? And anybody who has kids knows that teenage years can be pretty, they can be ugly, right? And mm. But if you keep going, you got to keep going and work through those ugly times, and that turns into something else. So, not to get uh, um discouraged when things yeah. get up. keep going keep going awesome tom right tom thanks for coming in next time we're going to keep this as a regular feature because i think it's awesome oh tom oh, have great. you got your piece of art now that you could send on a that we could include uh, in this that that blue one yeah okay, can you send sure. it on messenger to me and i'll put it up and sorry for everyone watching live obviously you can't see what we're looking at but <laughs> Every live sure, that I do, I do it live, and then I turn it off on my YouTube, and then I edit it, and then, because I want to do it. What someone said, this is quite random, I rent offices above me, and there's a guy who does a podcast. He turns up, and he goes, I want to rent the office because I do a podcast. I went, wow, I do a podcast. He's, he's on mortgages. And he came down there, and I, I was doing an intro, and he goes, oh, I always do my intro at the end. Now, this might be good for you, Stephen, because I always do my intro after recording it, because then I know what it's about and what we experience, and I can sell it more what went on within the podcast. And I thought, that's a mm. bloody good idea, because straight after it, you roll with what went on and whatever's in, ignited in you. So I found that really good. What smart. You found it. While you're finding it, I've got a question for you. We'll add, we'll add the next question for you, Stephen. Okay. Here we go. There we go. This is a good question. This is a guy called AJ Caleri who's coming on the podcast. He's out in, is it Puerto Rico? He's cool. I like him. He's like, I think he's been a body, but I can't, we've like, I've been messaging him for months and it hasn't happened, but it's coming. He's simple. And I want you to answer this one, Stephen. Yeah. Yes, sir. What does freedom mean to you? To me personally? Okay. I, I like that one. Um, freedom is the opportunity to do more things that I love without having to jeopardize my happiness. So in this moment, this is freedom. 
being able to create, talk to two handsome gentlemen and hopefully help somebody. Like I love, I love doing that. I really do. I like to feel that I'm helping people. And at the same time, I like to feel like I'm fulfilling my purpose. You are, mate. You are. Like, Good question, so. isn't it? Freedom. Yes, sir. And mm-hmm. I think I keep going back. It's really ignited me. The, the summer things ignited me on a possible thing that I might go off on. Because I, tomorrow, I've got my son on a podcast. So we're doing a podcast tomorrow with my son, Dylan, who's 21. And I've been, in a sense, coaching him his whole life. This is what I thought. We were on a phone call on Monday morning. We always have a phone call beginning of the week because he's young. Sometimes he drinks too much at the weekend, and that's when we really need to step him up, you know, because he's rough and he's got a very professional job. And I ring him up and I say, we're doing the usual chat. And I can tell if he's been out, he answers the phone early in the morning. If not, he's been out. It's as simple as that. And he goes, we were talking, and he says, yeah, we were talk- I was going, you know, he's just got another promotion. He's fourth one in 18 months. He's smashing it. He's doing awesome. He's doing beyond I could ever have asked him to do. He's doing beyond I could ever have asked him. And I said, we're on about different things. And he says, yeah, every day on the way to work, Dad, I set my affirmations. And I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, what? Because he walks to work. He lives in Manchester City Centre when he walks to work. I just see his mum. His mum's just outside listening in then, as I'm mentioning her son. Uh he, and he said, every day I walked to work, I do my affirmations. And I was like, oh, yeah, I've never told him to do this. This is why I liked it. And he said, yeah, when I'm walking to work, I start saying what I want, what I want to achieve that, that day, what I want to achieve that week, what I want as my grand master plan. I keep saying out aloud as I go. And you know what? What I want to say is, I'm sort of like, I'm bringing it up for the podcast tomorrow. About five years ago, when he was 16, I got him to read the book. And I recommend this book to anyone who wants a new way to think. It's called Ask the Universe. It's a tiny little book. I, I actually bought it for about 20 people. If you send me a DM and you can't, get, I'll buy it you. I don't know how many people are going to do it, but we'll see that. But if, and it may be, in fact, I'm buying it somewhere. I'm buying it somewhere. I'm going to buy it somewhere and arrange a way to get it to her. And it basically asks you in it to write your list, what you want to achieve in life. It's a manifest, manifestation list. He rings me about two years ago. And he goes, Dad, Dad, you're not going to believe this, what? He goes, I've just been cleaning out my wardrobe and I've just found that list we did. He went, I've done everything on that list. I went, right, quick, get off the phone, write another one, write another list. But he's done (laughs) things like going to America, moving to a city, getting a job of his dreams, get all the things where if you had wrote at the beginning, it were no chance. And he did them all. And he's coming on the show tomorrow to talk about, and that's what, Young, if we can start inspiring youngsters to start thinking about the mindset and how they can influence their life, influence their happiness, influence other people around them, because that's what we, when we get to a point of positivity, like Stephen, you coming on this show, I buzzed off it because I knew you were going to be that smiley, conscientious kind and you were going to add value. Tom, you did the exact same. You come in here. I asked him five minutes before, will you come on live? And guess what he says? He says, yeah, I'd love to. It's a good man. No, he, Tom got good vibes. I, I heard him instantly. Tom is a good oh, man. Good. You too. You too. I get it. So man, I'll just it. say my what freedom means to me is mine's an interesting thing because I, I've had my freedom take away from me in my life when I was younger through something I did. Not for long, but it was taken away. And I didn't, didn't even think of it then. It wasn't even a thing. But as I've got later in older in life, I've thought about freedom. And freedom, I see it as, is a, is, a, is, a, is freedom of the mind. Because a lot of people are trapped in the mind. And everything that we experience in our life actually comes from in here. No one else makes us experience anything. We do. And what we do to ourselves is what we can go on to experience. So freedom to me is learning to accept that every day I will have emotions and they will ride through me. But my freedom is accepting them there but not letting them control me. Living through them and accepting them. It's actually my fifth pillar in my uh, uh, mindset program. Accepting the emotions, but being fr- like, I'm sometimes sad. I'm so- I got jealous the other day. With, with, so I got, I, these are natural things to happen, but mm-hmm. just watching them. And they're not controlling me. They're not taking over. Right. They're not like rooting in and going, some people you meet, that they are free, and it roots in them and takes over every single part of them. And I'm saying no to that. No every day. Every day I have to say it, because in that day, That'll try and get in, but we've got the we've got the power to do it. And Summer, for some reason, she might end up being the star of our show, eh, Stephen? Yes, sir. <laughs> She's a popular girl. 
Tom, what's freedom to you? Oh, it's a state of mind. I I answered it that way in the in the uh, in the group as well. It's a it's a state of mind, and like I said earlier, when I'm painting, that's that's freedom for me. That that feeling that I get when I can express that energy that I have inside of me uh, openly and knowing that uh, uh, that that expression is going to be received. You know, it's it's going to be received. I I. I get that vibe back thousands fold, thousands fold, right? Uh, that's freedom. Freedom only exists right now. It only exists right now. It's not in the future and it's not in the past. Mm. I massively agree with that. Yeah. This I'm is sorry. the coolest podcast I've ever done. Let me just say that, boys. You've bought, like, oh, I, I want to listen to this. You know what I mean? It's like, I think the art thing is, I think we can feature that, but we could do some other, like, this is this is thinking of us, the Mindful Wizard, because I'm creating a show for me and you to do. I don't know if you know about it. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> well, I'm UK, you're America. Both sides could do with listening to it, either of us, so it's great. But yes, we could sir. do people's writing work, because you, like you say, you're good at writing. You're very good at content that way, and that's another way of exploring different things and mm -hmm. different meanings mm -hmm. yeah, this, is, this is a lot of fun so so thank you both again <laughs> right i know that you'll have to go since we've got five more minutes left so i've got another question now oh this is a good one this is a great question this one's from joshua sorry i didn't mention the last question oh yeah i did sorry this one's from joshua waller and he asked this question oh joshua's a, an admin he says uh hi how do you deal with negative friends you know I've tried listening and tried to support in many ways, but it never, ever stops. Not sure how to help. Just to clarify, they're not negative towards about me or towards me, just about their own life. Great question. Mm. Good question. That's a good one. Would, would, would you gentlemen like me to tackle that one? Yes, we would. <laughs> so that one is, is funny because I deal with that every day, all day every day <laughs> at work so i just literally everywhere just yeah well work yes home mm. life yes mm. um taking the metro yes yeah so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like what i would say to that is you can't lead anyone anywhere right mm. totally says it eckhart totally the master of you know present moment awareness mm. and the power of now he says words are just directional they're signposts but what i would say is if you really cared about somebody instead of telling them that they're wrong show them right and right. say you know i love you so much and in these situations yeah. your negative thinking is stumping your growth i'll show it to you instead of blaming because i think blaming mm. brings up ego whereas well, if you yeah. come from love you say things like, you know, I really care about you and your negativity is the reason that you are creating more resistance as opposed to winning, which is your birthright. So if you can get a person to just understand that they are their worst enemy, I mm -hmm. think that's more more helpful as opposed to judgment and saying this is wrong. You know, I, I, I'm annoyed when you're negative. Like, I think what, what that does is push people deeper into their patterns. Mm. I think what we need to do is show them that there's another way to live and it doesn't necessarily have to be negative. Mm. I like that answer. Thank you. You made me think, cause I made me think about mm, the bad thing about me is every day I meet, all the people that I know in my life, but I meet new people every day. And it's between probably, it could go from between a minimum of two to probably a maximum of like 15 new people. And if, when I come across negative souls, because I'm a positive beacon everywhere I go, I can't correct them or help them in that journey. I just, I just move on to my next one because yeah. I'm spreading a positive light. And I sadly enough, if something's in my life, and it's a negative force, I remove it. Because mm -hmm. only, if I could do something, like if it's the real good people, right, I try my hardest, but I sometimes think of just removing it because I'm on my own path. 
and I'm yes, on my sir. own thing to victory. And over the last year, I've really had to step up. And when so, like it was funny when someone put about the conspiracies before that they said that um, they said that what did they say? Today's conspiracies, tomorrow's reality can be. At the minute with lockdown, conspiracies have gone mental. Everyone's got something about some angle, and when they start telling it me. They're offended that I don't follow through with what they think. And it's not that I'm not I'm not even thinking about what they think. I don't let I don't think about any of that. I just go on through my day, getting through it, helping people, helping myself, and that's it. And if all them conspiracies that they go on about, like, you know, like one of them's not a conspiracy. There is aliens. I've always thought that. I don't class that as a conspiracy. But there's loads going on, virus and all that kind of stuff. I just don't get caught in it because yeah. I just, I don't even process it. Yes, yeah, some of the stuff could be right, but do you know what? Where I live is one of the most beautiful places on the world. I'm British. I'm proud to be British. We're one of the freest lands in the whole world. We're allowed to have freedom of thought. We're allowed to have freedom of speech. We're allowed things that no one else is allowed in the world. And I'm bloody proud to be a part of it. And I'm not against the system, but I, I just don't get too much looking into stuff because I find that if you look too much into stuff, you will find there's a bit of bit of crap in everything that might make you feel bad. That's my path anyway. And I know that I'm not telling everyone to do that because I want to be like you, Stephen, because yours was a really great. <laughs> You're so funny. You guys are so funny. <laughs> Chris is a charmer. I love you, brother. I Thank know, you. Mate. <laughs> yeah. I'm being honest, though, because it's probably one of my downfalls, that, because I can't help everyone. But if I can help those who are looking, if you're looking for help, I'm going to come in, I'm going to give you as much as I can give. But if you're not quite ready, it's a bit like when you're coaching someone, you can only be coached when you're ready to learn to make little changes in your life. And they are little, but you've got to say, I'm going to do them. When I had my coaching call two weeks ago, I said, I'll do what you said, because I'm that guy, you know, and I know it's only good for me. And, you know, it can only be us. It can only be us. Go on, Tom. This is the last point we're going to finish on this. And we're going to end. Yeah, this, uh, it, I, being a, how, how to handle negative people, um, I think your take on it is was pretty good, Christian. It's uh, I can, I'm I only have energy to give, and how that's received is up to the receptor. It's not up to the deliverer, right? Um, I can put that energy out. Um, I you know I'm I'm not huge into the Bible, but one of the one of the stories one of the parables really sticks out to me in this instance it's the parable of the sower that this energy that i'm putting out these seeds that i'm throwing out there some of them are going to fall on the rocks and they're not going to grow and i there's always going to be rocks out there mm. right there's always mm. going to be those rocks out there the rocky areas where the seeds aren't going to grow and and i just have to keep uh i think there's a I, I agree with the, and believe in the law of attraction. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. I've been, I've, <laughs> I've believed that for years. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And uh, helping people through uh, struggles like that in the past, I've seen it happen. That, you know, you talk to some guy for two, three, four months in a row, and they keep repeating the same behavior that puts them back in the same position mm -hmm. every time. Mm -hmm. And then finally, somehow something clicks with them, you know, so that they were ready. That student got ready and the teacher appeared and they heard a message somewhere. So uh, I, when I'm around negative people, I try to uh, be a beacon for them, like you've said, Christian. But I'm not going to go overboard. I'm not going to force anything if I get the if I get the feeling that that my energy isn't being well received i stop sending it out that way right I, i'll i'll move on to another uh, another situation another part of my life my day is for positivity not negativity mm. so uh i'm gonna i'm gonna move in the positive direction uh that's that's my nature so i have to follow awesome. that this is hey boys this has been phenomenally like this is the like beginning of your day steve and it's mine's a little bit late 11 o'clock here is it five what time are you on tom oh well i set my alarm for 4 30 this morning <laughs> oh, you absolute gent you absolute gent you both came on at five in the morning oh my yeah. god you absolute powerhouses <laughs> wow 
this has been brill, and there's much more feature wise to come from this. But thanks, boys. Superb. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. My pleasure. So I'll Guys, end it. I'll just I'll just press the end now. So thank thanks very much. I'll add the picture for anyone who watched it live. Apologies that you didn't get to see the pictures, but you can see it when I re-edit it now, which will take me ages because uh, I'm terrible at it. So I'll re-edit it now. We'll get that going. But thanks so much for watching. If you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button in the bottom aha, left or right side of the screen. That'd be much appreciated. Thanks a lot. Take care, guys. Bye.